I think if we look at climate resilience um, and look particularly at the word resilience, this is about um, both being prepared um, and being able to deal with uh, shocks from uh, from you know a variety of systems, be these uh, physical systems from uh, the natural environment or uh, shocks from technological or policy change. What's really been driving this has been, I think, a, a, a sea of change and interest from both financial regulators and investors around the concern that climate change and its volatility could have um, unpredictable impacts on financial markets and how we value assets. You know, I think with cities, this is about do we have uh, the right infrastructure that's fit for purpose over, um, you know, a duration period of change over the next 50 to 60 years, particularly for new infrastructure since many of these assets um, have very long lifespans. Um, and I think for um, businesses, um, likewise, they are interested um, in some of these longer term capital expenditure issues, um, but I think that really varies from industry sector to industry sector. So for instance, in the real estate sector, um, we've already seen some shifts in the way um, land might be priced in uh, flood prone and low lying areas along uh, the coast, um, and that some of these um, higher elevations are starting to potentially see um, what might be called climate gentrification. Um, uh, more development in these less flood-prone areas. I think the role of data and analytics in addressing climate risk is critical. Um, the insurance industry has really led in the way uh, risk is priced through data and analytics. We had our own revolution in this space uh, you know, over 20 years ago. Uh, the development of capital modeling and catastrophe models were, were uh, you know, really groundbreaking in creating um, you know, the, the stable and resilient insurance industry we have today. Um, but many of these data and analytic solutions don't look at how risk might evolve in the future. They're capturing a current view of risk. Mm -hmm.